Hey guys, it's Wayne with W. Scully CPA PC, fixing America's tax problems every day, all day. Now, <clears throat> uh, recently, as you all know, the America Rescue Plan Act was enacted by President Biden or signed by President Biden on the 12th of March. And including that package or that plan is relief for folks who got unemployment insurance benefits. And I mean, this is huge, right? I mean, uh, unemployment benefits are normally taxable. I mean, just you know, off the bat. Uh, but in this case, they're giving some relief to folks who receive that. And it makes sense. You know, people are hard hit by the pandemic. And with all that's happening, I mean, they need just need a break. So getting $10,200 of your unemployment benefits exempted or excluded from federal income tax, okay? So if your modified adjusted gross income was $50,000, $150,000 or less, or less than $150,000, you basically get to exclude up to $10,200 of unemployment compensation. Now, if you're married, um, you say, okay, well, what happens then? Well, each spouse gets to exclude up to $10,200 of unemployment compensation, right? $10,200 of unemployment compensation gets excluded, right? And um, like I said, as long as you're, you're, you're yeah, modified just to gross income, and I won't go into the technicalities of what uh, MAGI or modified uh, just to gross income is, but um, you just need to know if you're way below that threshold, which I would imagine most people getting unemployment during that period are probably, you know, low income earners or, you know, not past the $150,000 threshold. But anyway, we, you and your accountant, whoever is going to work on that uh, tax return for you will figure that out. Okay. So the exclusion should be reported separately for your unemployment compensation. That's one thing you need to know. And um, there's some instructions, you're updating instructions uh, for Schedule 1, Line 7 of the, the um, tax return 1040. That's going to basically walk you through how to calculate your uh, exclusion. Okay, so that's important. Um, as usually, you get a Form 1099-G from your state uh, where they report the amount that you receive for unemployment benefits because the state controls that. And of course, as you know, there was a federal um, supplement to the uninsurance benefits during the pandemic or still ongoing. They've actually extended that too. Um, that's now $300 uh, per week, I think is the max on the federal side. Anyway, um, so for, as I said before, for married people, uh, your spouse can exclude up to married taxpayers. You and your spouse can exclude up to ten thousand two hundred of unemployment compensation. And so, for example, if you got paid twenty thousand dollars in unemployment compensation, and your spouse received five thousand dollars in unemployment compensation, then um, on uh, line uh, seven of that schedule one you're going to report 15,200. That's 10,200 for you and 5,000 for your spouse. Okay. So you can't like combine the entire thing, make it 20,400 and just exclude the entire thing. No, it's 10,000 per person. So that's the max, right? So if you made 20,000, she made five, the most you can exclude is 15,200. Okay. All right. And again, modified adjusted gross income is huge. If it's, if it's uh, more than $150,000 or more, then you don't get to exclude unemployment, okay? And um, <clears throat> there's some worksheet that, that the IRS has created or that exists that you can that you use to calculate the exclusion amount, but we won't get into that here, obviously, because that's going to be just a bit too much. And so if you receive an overpayment of unemployment uh, compensation in 2020, you need to, and you repay it in 2020, you obviously need to back that out. You need to subtract that from the totals on the 1099G because it may not refl be reflected there, okay? Because otherwise you're gonna be, you know, shooting yourself in the foot, all right? So you wanna back that out, make sure it's, um, you know, uh, correct, make sure it's accurate, and it's actually what you received and not what uh, received net, right? Or whatever you paid back. So you wanna make sure you do that correctly. And then, you know, as you know that most states, um, 
they used to mail those 1099G forms, but now they send them electronically. So just make sure you check with your state, log into your uh, Department of Labor website and get that 1099G so you can properly take your exclusion uh, of the $10,000, $10,200. So I'm not sure why they made it $10,200, it's not an even $10,000 or $11,000. But anyway, um, I'll take it. I'm sure the folks out there who are really hurting will take that too. So um, that's good. Uh, so like I said before, check your state's website, make sure you have that 1099G so you can report accordingly. All right, well, that's it for me for today. And um, if you have any other questions about anything else or this issue, uh, feel free to call your tax advisor. And if you have none, give me a call. Okay, my name is Wayne and I'm with the, the firm W. Scully CPA PC, focused on fixing America's tax problems. Our firm specializes in tax resolution matters and we serve clients virtually. Make an appointment by visiting www.wscullycpa.com. That's www.wscullycpa.com. Or um, you can call 855-254-1892. That's 855-254-1892. Please uh, comment, like, share this video. Thanks, guys. I'll chat to you next time.